everyone this is again Remy TV and today we will talk about the fetal circulation of the baby now to understand the fetal circulation we should understand the normal blood flow of the heart we should know how blood flow without the placenta now the difference of blood flow of the adult heart and of the fetal heart which is inside the uterus is that the fetal heart has these shunts that the shunts is pulling or pulling away blood from the lungs because the baby in the uterus they are not using their lungs but when they are born or outside the uterus they now use their lungs so their shunts aren't needed anymore now if you haven't watched my video on adult heart circulation there's the link in the description and watch it if you don't want to watch it I'm gonna discuss it here really really quick in the circulation of the adult heart blood will flow an oxygenated blood will flow through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava into the right atrium to the right ventricle then the right ventricle will um, pump the blood into the pulmonary arteries then to the lungs where gas exchanges occur and then the blood will now have its oxygen and it will pass through the pulmonary veins and then to the left atrium to the left ventricle then it is pumped all throughout the body now let's go to the fetal circulation here in the fetal circulation the lungs is not working because they are full of fluid now remember the three shunts in fetal circulation the ductus venosus the foramen ovale and the ductus arteriosus this is the ductus venosus here is the foramen ovale and somewhere here is the ductus arteriosus now maybe someone will ask if the baby's lungs isn't functioning then how does the baby's organs get its oxygen the answer is they get it from the placenta now the placenta along with the umbilical cord is like the line of the baby's life while it is in the uterus now the placenta embeds itself in the uterus and somehow connects to mom's circulation what will it do it will give nutrients and oxygen from the mom's circulation to the umbilical cord to the baby and when the baby got the oxygen and nutrients the baby will use it and then produce waste and it will be sent back to mommy's circulation and the mother will excrete or remove it now let's start the 
fetal circulation. From the placenta, the oxygenated blood flow through the umbilical veins and go to the liver. Some of the blood go to the liver, but most of the blood will be shunted to the inferior vena cava. How? By the use of the shunt, which is, which is called the ductus venosus. This is the ductus venosus. And then, the oxygenated blood will flow through the right atrium. And then, when there is blood here, the majority of the blood go directly to the left atrium. Now, why is it that most of the blood doesn't go to the right ventricle? Because let us remember that the blood is already oxygenated and the fetal lung is not functioning. So, it don't need to go to the right ventricle to pulmonary artery to be oxygenated. Now, let's go back. After the left atrium, the blood will go to the left ventricle up into the aorta and go to the ba body of the baby. Now, another question. When the oxygenated blood is used, how will the unoxygenated blood go back to mom's circulation? The unoxygenated blood flow down to the superior vena cava to the right atrium again it will go again to the right atrium then go to the right ventricle the right ventricle will now pump blood to the pulmonary artery normally pulmonary artery will send blood to the lung to the lungs yes some of them but most of it will be shunted by the ductus arteriosus into the will be shunted to the ductus arteriosus to the aorta specifically the descending aorta Now, the descending aorta will branch off to the iliac artery, which will now connect to the umbilical artery. Which carry an oxygenated blood back to the mother. And then, remove the waste products and then replenish it. So now, how does the fetal circulation change after birth? So the baby's umbilical cord is out and then cut. Therefore, the blood flow from the placenta is stopped. The ductus arteriosus or the ductus venosus will now disappear. When the babies start breathing, the fluid in the lungs will be cleared. The sacs will pop open. So now, it will not need the shunting of the blood. So the foramen ovale, this one, closes. Now, how does the ductus arteriosus is removed? The placenta, let us remember that the placenta 
produces prostaglandins. Now the shunts is sensitive to the prostaglandins, so when the umbilical cord is cut, the prostaglandins decrease and the shunts will now close. So that is fatal circulation. Please like and subscribe. If you aren't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and please leave a comment down below.